Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome back to Creative Frenzy. Today I wanted to make some um, napkin ring holders for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I think these turn out quite well, actually. So I've been collecting these really pretty um, cloth napkins at Value Village. These are gorgeous little lacy ones. I have some of the um, the larger like cotton variety. Um, I'm trying to remember what kind of lace this is, but it's more like a, a cutout than lace in and out. It's more like a lace applique kind of thing. Whereas this is a bit more of um, a crochet almost. It's very fine on the edge, but I thought they were really pretty. So I've been collecting for a little while now and uh, I thought I'd make some napkin rings. And I'm just sure if many of you know this, but you know, the good old dollar store shower curtain rings make perfect napkin rings. For the very simple reason, it's inexpensive and you can reuse them if you want to, or you can make them a bit more permanent. So it depends on what you wanted to do. But I wanted to make some as a gift for my daughter. Um, for her and her husband. It's their first married Valentine together and uh, I wanted to do something a little bit special. So anyway, that's the idea here. So I came up with two different little designs, very simple. Uh, I had some red lace still, which is perfect because it's got a ruffle to it. So it works really nicely with something like this. You could use a hot glue gun, obviously, if you really wanted to, in order to make it a bit more permanent. I just used some um, blue dots um, for now. I mean, you could use whatever you want it, so it's entirely up to you. Depends on how permanent you want it. This one, I just tied some Valentine ribbon um, from Michaels. I got this in one of those Valentine $4 bags, the grab bags, last year for Valentine's Day. And um, yeah, I wanted to use them this year for something. Last year, it was kind of late coming to this party, so <laughs> I wanted to do something a little bit earlier for this time around. And then these flowers I got at the dollar store also. So they come in a variety of colors. Um, so you could do this any which way you wanted. You could do fall ones, you could do spring ones, you can do Valentine's, you can do a wedding anniversary, you could do Easter, you know, any holiday you could possibly think of. There are some amazing tutorials out there. So this is not my own idea, obviously. But, you know, everybody does their own little spin on it, and I thought it'd be fun to showcase some of the ones that I've come up with. So this is the one that it's uh, less permanent. I'm gonna show you. So basically, you know, I, you know what, let's put this down so you can actually see the pretty lace. So there, and that way we can just go like that. So all I've done is tie my ribbon on there. Now, I didn't go all the way around because I wanted it to sort of lay kind of flat or on an angle a bit so when you put your napkin in there it has a better chance of sitting nicely and it saves a little bit on ribbon too so let's say you only have a little bit of some color that you really would like to use this is a good way to make it go a little further because nobody is really going to notice that this part is the way it is if you really want to you could obviously uh, put string on it, or raffia, or even washi tape if you really wanted to. I'm sure you could, you know, find something in your stash that would do the job. And then I just, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit artsy, a little bit, you know, crafty kind of thing. It's a bit more deconstructed at this point. I like the the structure of these little, or the destructured <laughs> of the uh, ribbon. So I just tied it on, I didn't glue it, and then because these flowers come with their own little wire picks on them, like these, it's easy to just attach them and then unattach them if you really wanted to. So you can make it permanent, you can make it semi-permanent, and then you can reuse it after the holiday, like if you wanted to do these for like a baby shower or a bridal shower, or whatever you wanted to do, and you didn't want it to be a permanent thing, you obviously could take it all apart again and reuse whatever you want it. That's the beauty of this, right? So you can recycle it, you can reuse it, and just reduce the waste and things you need to buy for these things. So anyway, 
this is very simple to just tie it around. Um, all I did was take my ribbon. <laughs> you could cut these all apart first if you sort of knew what length you wanted, but sometimes it's just easier to attach it from the spool or the length of it by itself. So I kind of like the idea of this. You could use um, glitter ribbon, I suppose, if you really wanted to. I don't know how much of a mess it would make. So be aware of that. And because it has a bit of a natural kind of stop here, it's kind of nice to work on it that way. Um, you could obviously use hearts besides roses if you wanted to. Um, if you're a jewelry maker like I am, I'm sure you have some pretty quartz stone and wire that you could use that would be really pretty too. But I like that you can just sort of play with it. You can do different sizes. You could use yarn in combination with the ribbon. I've done that with some other projects before and it's kind of nice to have the different textures. But you get the meaning here. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do something like this as a gift. You, know, you can make it a specialized gift. If you really wanted to, you could do um, little photo frames that you can attach to it. That'd be kind of cool too. And, or you could glue it on right here, you know, right in the center and do a little photo frame um, of the married couple, you know, as an anniversary gift for Valentine's Day. I think that'd be kind of cute. Or you could do, you know, for your own husband, you could do different pictures throughout the year. You could do pictures of people um, in your family, you know. So if you have kids, you could do their pictures in there. That'd be kind of cute too. Very personalized, very, um, um, you know, personalized, special. So I thought it'd be kind of cute to just sort of work away at that. So you could use a pink flower with this, obviously, if you really wanted to. I kind of like the roses because it's, well, you know, it's a bit more, um, I want to say romantic, but it's more in tune with what you would normally see for Valentine's Day. Obviously, pink roses could be a thing too, but this one only had the red roses and the orange ones. And I think the orange ones would clash it just a little bit. Unless that's the color you're going for, that's fine. But in my case, the pink and the orange probably wouldn't work too well for what I have in mind. Anyway, you get the idea. So and if you really wanted to save on a ribbon, you wouldn't even have to go this many times on here, obviously. You could use less, you could use more whatever you felt like doing. You could go, um, a lot of us I know <laughs> have collected very pretty lace over the years. This would be a good way to use them if you really wanted to. I know some of us are hoarders and we don't want to let go of anything and that's okay too. If that's the way you choose to uh, do it. But you know, a lot of my laces I've gotten from other seamstresses and things like that. So I'm not really overly attached to them. So for a project like this, where I know the person who, re who receives it will use it quite often, or at least once a year. And if you make this more of a monochromatic look, you can obviously use this for lots of different occasions, not just one or the other. So, there. And then you just take your little rose and you can you can make your own flowers obviously I've made my own flowers before I haven't um, done it in this kind of application but I'm certain it would actually work quite nice especially if you hot glue it on there or use some glue dots or something like that you just wrap the wire around it and then that is it and then when you go to apply it to your napkin so this is the um, 
applique lace, applique, yes, I think that's the word. So I would just tend to, these have been starched. <laughs> Whoever dropped them off did a really nice job of ironing them and starching them. So it's a bit more difficult to, but what I would want to do is fold this in half again like this and then put it in there so that it would hold a little bit nicer and then you can just see the little bit of lace and then you can put that on a little dessert plate if you wanted to you know a little bit of ice wine some dessert a nice dinner or even a i don't know coffee and cakes <laughs> however you celebrate your valentine's day with your sweetheart so it's kind of nice to just do something a little bit different so that is that one. And then this one is just a very simple um, ribbon like this. So all I've done is taken my glue dots, curl it up a little bit, and then just sort of start in one area. And a few different little spots, nothing too major. And then you can just put them on there, get your lace, and I would start wherever this begins. So where the um, attachment is for the shower curtain. So I just start there and work my way around. Make sure that you're sort of in the center so that when you attach the other ribbon or the other side of it, because it's a ruffle, it has a really nice little edge to it. Just turn it and then turn it the other way and then have it this way, kind of. And because it's lace, if you press hard enough, the glue dot will come through it a little bit so that you can attach your lace to it. And the heat from your fingers will help too. Now, if that really bothers you, put more glue dots on there by all means. You could sew this together first, but I'm lazy, so I tend to just sort of use glue dots. So it almost looks like a little cuff kind of deal. And then you just grab your flower and then you attach it, the same as the other one. Carefully, you don't hurt yourself. These ones you should be able to cut with just regular scissors, especially if you don't have patience like me. And then just loop it in there. Now, if this bothers you, you can obviously just go like this. Just tuck it away for now, and then you can always put it underneath the wire and then just bring it up and around. to be perfect by any means. Again, you know, if you find more glue dots are more helpful, absolutely do so. But in this case, I just wanted to show you. So now you have your napkin. Just sort of fold it and then feed it through. And when you set your table, you have it sitting nicely on your plate. So that is basically it. And there you have it. Oops, too far there. If you wanted to use um, paper napkins, you could obviously do that. And then you can make a little pocket for your cutlery, like if you were doing a buffet or something like that. But that would be the way I would do it. So, napkin rings, out of shower curtain rings, kind of cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.